on today's edition of the news! Dorkside Toys have mocked up an image of the card back for Commander Wolf. We'll check out that image right here in this video. The wave I'm calling Wave 12 of the Vintage Collection has a new bunch of images with all the face paint decos updated. Interesting to see, we'll talk more about that. More info on the Black Series Snowspeeder, Pops and the Child, all this and more coming up. Welcome to my television toy showcase channel two news videos back to back thank you for joining me once again first up today is daisy ridley's birthday hence i put her out here happy birthday daisy the actress who is ray in star wars excellent stuff that is of course i believe the best action figure they've made of daisy ridley in the form of ray brilliant work um first bit of news dorkside toys on their website mocked up a card back for the vintage collection clone commander wolf now it looks pretty impressive it's very well done it is not the final product however because people have said is that what it's gonna look like the card back may well look exactly like that but have a look inside the bubble the tray is missing he has his helmet on there is no weapons and the little piece of paper that's in the bottom of them usually the warning thing that is all around the world everyone's got the piece of paper in it now that's missing as well as he's also floating inside the bubble he's not actually sitting down low so that's just a mock-up it will be very similar and i'll show you the 41st elite core clone trooper Checking out the card back, brilliant. This is, of course, Revenge of the Sith. You just saw the, the Clone Wars on the chase. This one here, see how he's got the helmet next to his head, as well as his weapon in there. Huh. Funny enough, this one was before they started putting those pieces of paper in there. The pieces of paper are universal now, so I, they can sell them all around the world. I believe this would be US version, where we have four different languages on the back of this card. And that's what Clone Commander Wolf will look like when he arrives later this year. Wave 14 is set for a September release as well. Okay, also on Dorkside, you'll see the image there of the four in the set and the little black square with the Who's the Mystery Man? That is Luke Skywalker Stormtrooper Disguise. So that will be the set if you want to pre order them all now. I know they sort of put the mystery figure in there and wait a little bit longer until there is an actual image of him. Just letting you know beforehand, that's what you're getting yourself into. Just a rumor. They may tweak it, they may do something different with it, but word on the street is it's exactly the same as the one that come out of the Jedi Destiny pack. Okay, let's move on to Wave. 14 of the vintage collection this vintage collection wave we were told way back at one of the conventions probably the barcelona one the or the one in italy i'm not quite sure which one and revealed the four that were going to be repacked and that set comprises well it is lando from jedi and then the other three from empire strikes back are han bespin luke bespin and c3po now the images that we talked about on Boss Bounty, he says, do you like that set? And I said, they don't look any different. And now they do because we've got the updated images. They were just showing us the old images, the old card backs, as they do. Now Dorkside has the updated pictures and people are mixed on it a little bit. Now the Han Solo Bespin, that is probably the best of the lot here. I like that new updated face. I love the design of him. The card back, obviously, almost the same very well done um the luke however has kind of well i'm not sure if they just picked one at random and his eyes are looking which way is he looking he's looking right isn't he in in the image there uh let me know your thoughts down below it's not the greatest face paint but maybe they just got a wonky figure and that's the one they took the photos of uh, the C-3PO, everybody wanted a nice shiny vac metal version. All they're giving us is a gold painted version with the silver leg. It is what it is. You can't really update this figure way too much, but it's a C-3PO on a vintage card. Nonetheless, he's coming back. 
And the last one there is Lando, and people were saying they don't like the cape on this. I was a little bit like, why does his hairstyle look like Elvis? Was... <laughs> his face isn't too bad, yeah, but the cape, I suppose you could tweak it. And also, these could be the prototype figures as well, so they can change once again when they start shipping them out. As I said, let me know your thoughts about this wave. It's great to see new images of them. We can share our thoughts down below. In the previous video I did on the news, which is that video there, we put the image of the child, the Mandalorian child, in the little tiny box. Inside the box is a little plastic tray. We have a new image of this. This comes from Dorkside Toys as well, amazingly enough. Check it out, that little fridge. I'm going to call the beer fridge because we're Australian. And, well, he's going to put his food in there, which is the frog, and his cup which is his beer. All gets held together in the one container and packed in nicely so it's not going to rattle around in the box. If you take this out of the packet it may have some more practical use for you. You can do whatever you want with it. I suppose it's just sitting in there so it doesn't move around once in the package. Very cool. And speaking of Black Series, the Snow Speeder. We have some new images of that also. Let's chuck those up there. Lovely, lovely. The box art of course we've seen is very very nice there is the glam image on a white background we often see the early shots on a black background this is on a white one there's a picture of dark very nice uh, he may look a little bit funny but remember he puts his helmet on over the top that's his little skull cap he's wearing you guys in the US can pre-order this now as well as you guys in the UK here in Australia um, the only place I see it available is Aussie sci-fi and they have it for $27 less than recommended retail price. So you guys in Australia, if you want to pre-order this, go over to them. Use my discount code UMTV follow up for a discount at checkout to save you some money. Last thing I'll tell you is about is if you collect pops. As you know, pops are very big business. I've got some. Do I want to collect more? I'm torn between yes and no. I want to concentrate on action figures. But if you do, Zing Pop Culture here in Australia is doing some Star Wars stuff. Check these out. Buy one, get one free. They've dropped the price down to $19 each, so they work out to be $9.50 a pop, and they've got some almost brand new ones from the Rise of Skywalker as well. So check them out. Thank you to everybody also who's doing hashtag action figure challenge. Tag me in your videos on Instagram. That is where we share videos that are, let me get this right, 11 minutes later your oldest figure your latest figure your biggest figure your smallest figure your most expensive and your cheapest figure you just do a little bit of a video and compile it all together put the hashtag in there action figure challenge and if we get enough of them and we trend really well I'll make up a whole video just to share you with you guys all around the world thank you very much and thank you for watching as you know my name is usual Mike my sponsor is Aussie Sci-Fi Collectibles for all your Star Wars, Marvel, DC, TV and movies. Check them out today. Link in the description down below. And as I said, by using code UMTV follower at checkout, it will save you some money. I've got some shirts. Chuck up my merch. All of my shirts are available in my Redbubble store. Buying from the Redbubble store helps out the channel, so thank you very much. If you'd like to follow me on social media, I'm on Twitter at UsualMike30 or on Instagram at UsualMikeTelevision. If you'd like to send some fan mail, it's back here at P.O. Box 957, Lisbon, New South Wales, 2480, Australia. And if you haven't done so already, hit subscribe, Ooh. tap the little bell for notifications, slap a like on this video if you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. All the best. First figure. Latest figure. Largest figure. Smallest figure. Favorite figure, most expensive figure, and cheapest figure.